This is the Build Performance Analyzer tool for the Arcam Q10 machine. The objective of this tool is to identify the root causes of issues not only on failed or aborted builds, but also builds that were completed but performed inefficiently. What you see here are simple red, yellow, green health status messages for the key modules of the Arcam system, which are the vacuum, beam, and powder layering units. In this specific example here, you see the cathode has been contaminated. The user can click on the actions button to not only understand the root cause, but also understand the actions to take to mitigate this issue. There is also provision for the user to check on this box to let others know that they have undertaken that action as well as add any comments. In order to get here, the user must go to the browse page where they can view any other previously analyzed build by clicking on the view button. Or they can analyze a new file by browsing to the folder and selecting one of the log files. When the user uploads the log file, a status analysis is seen in the progress bar as you can see here. While the analysis is happening, let's investigate one of the examples in more detail. Going back to the home page where we see the cathode had an issue, the user can dig deeper into the real reason for the contamination by visiting the respective module pages for vacuum, beam, and powder layering. Going into the beam page, there are different aspects that are covered. The performance of the high volume power supply, the performance of the cathode, which is red here, the performance of the grid cup, as well as an important aspect known as smokes. Here the cathode is anomalous, and the user can see what specific reason contributed to that. Here you can see the grid voltage drop after a specific feature called arc trip exceeded its control or threshold limit. To understand more, the user can click here and get an explanation of what should be the ideal behavior and why it is red in this specific case. The user can also understand better by clicking on the graph button which shows that the grid voltage after the arc trip did not recover to its expected or original value. The user can enlarge this view and use the tools to zoom in, zoom out, scale it, and also download a picture of this plot. Similarly, every page related to the module has different aspects of health and performance related to it. Here we are in the vacuum page, where you can see that the vacuum levels, its stability, the health of the pumps that create the vacuum, as well as performance of the auxiliary units are being displayed. Again, in each of these you have different features with expected values versus actual values and a provision for viewing the graphs as well as the help indicators. Going back to the browse page, an additional capability in this tool is to download a report. The user can do this by clicking on the report button next to the appropriate file. This will generate a PDF report with all the key health performance indicators summarized as well as the plots in it. And as you can see, the file that we previously uploaded has completed its analysis and now the option to view it is available. Finally, let's take a quick look at the PDF report we just created. As you can see, it has a high level summary of the job, a summary of the health indications, as well as the root causes and recommendations. In addition, every module in its performance is summarized as was also shown on the dashboard and followed by the detailed plots and their exceedances that were also shown on the dashboard.